How do you know that the website you just found on Google search is legit and not some scammer trying to get your information? Yes, you can look for that little padlock by the URL, but let's be honest, that's pretty simple to set up so it doesn't really help us in protecting our identity. What you need is a gatekeeper or some sort of a filter that gets rid of these scammers and phishing sites and malware sites and you want it to be free, right? Well, that's exactly what I'm going to show you today. And no, it's not a VPN. So, let's do this. Break it down now, phone, gadget, apps, it's the techie, techie guy, yeah. And welcome to another episode of Talking Tech with the Techie Guy. My name is Liron Segev, where I make tech simple. If you're into phones, gadget, apps, tips and tricks and how to, hit that subscribe button and let's get on to today's show. So we know every time a high profile disaster or an upcoming holiday, the online scammers are ready to take advantage. With the situation raging on around the world, we are shopping online more than ever, so we're essentially sitting ducks. So let me introduce you to your first line of defense, Quad9. Now, every single time you click on a link that is known to be sketchy, Quad9 steps in and you simply won't be able to access that website. If you can't access it, well, you can't be taken advantage of. So, how does all this work? Well, Quad9 is a recursive DNS. A DNS is like your phone's contact address book. You look up a name and then you actually dial a number. Same thing happens with websites. Let's say you want to go to youtube.com. Your computer sends a message to your local recursive DNS and says, hey, do you know this thing called youtube.com? Now, since a lot of people have asked the same question, it instantly replies back with an IP address so that your computer can head out to that website and you can watch this video on youtube.com. Now, where Quad9 comes in is that they're a recursive DNS, but unlike regular DNSs, they have some intelligence built in. They have a list of malicious websites, domains, IP addresses, so the second you want to go to dodgysite.com, it doesn't have to ask anyone, it simply just blocks it. So, how does Quad9 know which website to block? Well. Quad9 is essentially a collaboration between IBM Security, Packet Clearinghouse and the Global Cyber Alliance. And they've created this free DNS server to protect you and your identity. It does this by checking any web link that you clicked on or type in your browser against IBM X4 Threat Intelligence Database of 40 billion web pages. It also uses feeds from other threat intelligence partners and together forms a picture. And then it looks at each individual URL and says, is this legit or not? If it's not legit, it simply blocks it. But since Quad9 is checking each and every URL, you might be thinking, hold on, that's going to impact my speed, right? Well, it actually doesn't. Because they have infrastructure in more than 125 locations across 88 nations. So this entire process happens in a blink of an eye. Okay, so now you might be thinking, wait a minute. If... I connect to Quad9, then they know who I am, they know what kind of websites I am visiting, so surely my identity is not protected anyway. Well, no. The only thing they log is the URL, the timestamp, the city, state and country. They don't store your source IP address. So essentially, they can't tie it back to you. Now, how can you set up Quad9 on your systems? Well, it's pretty simple. It's available for Windows, it's available for your Mac and it's even available on your router. To do this on your Windows PC, I'm going to show you. If you want to have a Mac and you want to know how to do it there, there is a link in the description. I just don't have a Mac to show it to you. Okay, so in your Windows, right click where you have your network connections and then choose Open Network Internet Settings. Now you're going to scroll down until you see Change Adapter Options. Click on that. Now here you'll see all the ways that you connect. I'm currently connecting with my Ethernet cable, but if you connect with Wi-Fi, it's there as well. Open up the way that you connect, double click on it. And what you want to do is you want to go to the bottom left where it says properties. Click on that. Then you'll see it says TCP IP V4 and click on properties. And here you can see I'm using my default standard DNS. I haven't changed anything yet. Same thing with IPv6 properties. And you can see again, everything is from my service provider. So let's go click cancel that, click close that. Let's open up a web browser now. Now I'm going to open up a website that I know is dodgy and there it is and you can see it opens up just fine. Now let's go to another website that's dodgy and again it opens up perfectly fine. 
So now let's go and make those changes. So again, back into your connection settings, double click on your connections, click on properties, go to IPv6 and V4. Let's start with the V4, click on properties and you see where it says use your DNS. This time we're going to put in the DNS from quad nine. So 99999 and then the secondary DNS, it is a, another number that you got to put in there. 149.112.112.112. Link will be in the description so you can get all that information. It's same thing with IPv6. Now the format is slightly different. Let's put the main DNS and then let's put in the secondary DNS. Once you've done that, let's click on OK, click on close and click on the close again. Now let's go back and try get to that website again. So here's the original site. And as you can see, it instantly says, hey, it cannot be reached. It has been blocked. In fact, let's double check that. So if I try to ping that website, I'm trying to go to that website so my DNS will give me that IP back. You can see immediately it blocks it. Let's ping that second website, same result. It actually blocks it. So there's no way for me to get to the website. But as you can see, if I ping google.com, everything works absolutely perfectly well. YouTube.com, everything works exactly as it's intended to. So that was pretty easy, right? You just enter those quad nine into your DNS and then you're now instantly protected. I like to do this on my router. I go to my admin console on my router and find the DNS and then enter the quad nine in there. And now my entire system is protected, including all my smart home devices. So if anything dodgy is happening on there, this will simply block it. Now, if you want more tips and tricks on Wi-Fi and DNS, check out these videos down here. Hit the head below to subscribe if this is your first time here. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it, and I'll see you in those videos. Let's go.